Emma Madden. I'm from FutureWorks School of Media in Manchester. Um, FutureWorks provides academic and vocational training uh, in the creative media industries. That's across four disciplines, so it's CGI, games, audio and film and television. I think uh, the way we stand out from the competition is the fact that all our tutors are industry professionals and a lot of them run their own companies, their own studios, uh, they're all working in their individual fields. As well as that we work students a lot harder than other colleges and universities. Um, we benefit from having smaller class sizes and we're trying to prepare them for careers in the creative industries that they're going into and that's what employers are actually demanding these days. If it's tea, uh, I'll go for medium strength with a dash of milk or I'll perhaps opt for peppermint if I'm feeling healthy. Coffee is a whole different story. Um, I'm a bit of a coffee snob. I tend to avoid instant like the plague. Um, usually double shot Americano or filter coffee, black with no sugar. I'm not messing around. Uh, the great thing about working for FutureWorks is that I get told a lot of student success stories. Um, it's part of my job to keep track of them and share them across all the platforms we have, so our newsletter, our website, social media platforms, all of which I'm responsible for. It's great to actually hear these stories because a lot of our students actually find employment while they're still studying. And one thing people are scared of about going to university these days is graduating and not being able to find a job. When you've got stories about students who are being commissioned for concept art by people who are working on major motion pictures while they're doing their finals. It's really great because from a marketing perspective I don't have to spin anything. Um, I just tell the truth and that really reassures people about studying with us. In terms of people that I admire, I'm lucky to work with a lot of very creative and talented people. Um, one company I really admire is K&M Films. Um, they're actually FutureWorks graduates, um, Cash and Matt to be exact. They started up a production company while they were still studying at FutureWorks. They made music videos, corporate films, all extracurricular activities that were actually really helping them while they were doing their finals. Um, they continue to do that outside of graduating and even though they've both got full-time industry related jobs, which is great, um, they're actually doing this production company in their own time, hoping to turn it into something bigger and it's gaining a lot of traction, which is really exciting. Another company I really admire is Future Artists. Um, it's run by a fellow called Mark Ashmore who has done some guest lectures with FutureWorks in the past. Uh, one of which was um, a guest lecture about crowdfunding your film and promoting it over social media. Um, that was a really fascinating lecture for a lot of our students because it's led a lot of them to do their own Kickstarter and Indiegogo projects. Future artists um, are based in Manchester, so they're a really local company, and a lot of our students have actually ended up working with Mark on his projects. Um, we've actually got Mark attached to one of our own extracurricular projects at the moment, which is called Retribution. It's a film that staff, alumni and students are working on over the summer, outside of their studies, outside of their jobs, just a labour of love. Um, possibly going to be crowdfunded and we've got some really exciting names attached to that so that's great. My final one is probably a bit of a cheat, it's a two-in-one. Um, it's kind of based on our games department. So um, as I said a lot of our tutors are industry professionals. Um, Stefan Morris uh, runs a company called Greenfly Studios which he co-founded with his fiance. They've got a game called Quick Draw, which has got a lot of buzz about it at the moment. He's actually recently spoken uh, in Parliament and at the Indicade E3 showcase about how Quick Draw is a physically challenging as well as mentally challenging game. Speaking on behalf of games, you know, to try and show people that they're not all about shooting people, they're not all about jumping over things, uh, they can actually be intelligent. Related to that, um, White Paper Games is a company that one of our tutors, Ben Hill, runs. They've got a game that's just been greenlit on Steam, which is very exciting, um, called Ether One. It's an entirely hand-painted game. It's very interesting, so we're all very excited about that coming out. And what's great is the fact that these tutors are actually working in the industry and they can pass on a lot of wisdom to our students. Um, 
Personally for me, uh, my three most influential people in Manchester are John Edward Taylor, who founded The Guardian. I think a lot of Manchester journalists really look up to him and a lot of people forget that The Guardian was actually the Manchester Guardian until 1959. Um, as well as that, I think Tony Wilson, a personal favourite of mine, helped shape the music scene in Manchester that we all know and love now. A real sort of Kickstarter kind of um, you know self-funded project sort of guy um, which is inspiring to a lot of people who are trying to start up their own companies and their own uh, record labels. I think as well um, Professor Brian Cox, um, I'm the daughter of a science teacher and anything that makes science cool again is fine by me. I've actually seen him speak and he's a very inspiring guy. I think he's also put the University of Manchester on the map massively which is a great thing for Manchester. So yeah, unfortunately only one of my influential people is still with us but you know they're, they're all very important so it's worth remembering. That's a really interesting question. Um, for me, I'd say, uh, first of all, drive and determination. I think you're not gonna get anywhere unless you're willing to work hard and put in the hours and really have that tenacity to go the extra mile. Related to that, um, passion, because you're not gonna be able to do the first one if you're not passionate about what you're doing, if you don't enjoy it, if you don't believe in it, you're not gonna be able to put in that extra hard work. My third one would be courage. Um, I think a lot of successful people will tell you that they've had a lot of rejection in their time. That's something that you can't ever take personally and that you can't let actually get you down. Um, you have to develop a thick skin. You have to be able to let these things bounce off you. Rejection is actually a good thing um, because it furthers you, you know, it, it gives you the drive to go further and to really prove people wrong. So um, having that courage to really stand up and do your own thing and make a mark, I, I think is very important. There's a great place just off John Dalton Street called Caffeine & Co. It's a fantastic independent coffee shop, like I said, bit of a coffee snob. Um, there's nothing wrong with chains that pop up everywhere. It's great when you know you need something for convenience, but a tiny, tiny place like Caffeine & Co opening up in the midst of all the offices and um, big block towers in Manchester is quite brave. It also serves fantastic sandwiches, and as a result of its success, it's opening up two more branches, one of which is in Spinning Fields, which is like the central business district here. So I really admire that kind of, um, you know, that kind of courage to actually open up a tiny little place and try and make a bit of a difference. One of the great things it does as well is it actually recommends other Manchester businesses. So it's got a sandwich board outside that says you can also get great coffee at this place and at that place, which I think is really nice, you know, to nod to people who are doing the same thing and help each other out. That's typical of Manchester, patting each other on the back and not being too competitive. In terms of networking, Manchester is really great for it. It's got a lot of different options. Um, I've used a couple of them in the past. One of my favourites was Thursday Thursdays. A bit biased because it was um, a women's networking group. Really great for you know social activities, um, going for a drink on a Thursday evening, going and trying some cake and swapping business cards and chatting about what it is that you do. I went to one of their events in Great John Street Hotel, which was absolutely lovely, and I got a lot out of it in terms of all the networking events that I've been to. I found sponsors, I found platforms um, through which to promote what I was doing at the time. Another good one is 4N. It's actually national, but it's localised for different cities and different regions. Um, really great breakfast meetings where you all swap business cards, um, you chat one-on-one -on -one for 10 minutes, you introduce yourselves. Really good to make those connections and find out who's doing what in Manchester. Uh, the Northern Quarter Forum was particularly interesting for me because as I was working with local business owners at the time, it gave me an idea of what they were looking for, what they wanted out of Manchester, out of events, out of street parties. Um, and it really gave me an idea of what it's like to run a business in Manchester and what it takes to be successful. So that was a really interesting experience for me. And they were very friendly and there was lots of chat, lots of banter, lots of ideas flowing around. And it just shows you how many creative people are in a specific area of Manchester too.